Hi guys, I just wanted to share this with you. This is a mercury wheel barometer and it's um, uh, one that's been passed down in Sophie's family. It's come to her over the Christmas holiday and uh, when it arrived it got some problems and uh, it got airlocks in the mercury column and uh, so th this uh, this dial is driven by a, a float that uh, floats on a column of mercury that runs up the, the length of the whole thing and um, I've been able to clear those airlocks with uh, using a piece of nylon fishing line never done this before uh, but I just had to think about it and work out how I, I was going to do it and I, I thought I'd share this with you because it may help somebody else in a similar position um, it was uh, more difficult than I was anticipating. Th these things are always going to be five minute jobs un un until I get started. Um, uh, so, you know, I anticipate that I understand gravity, I know how mercury flows, but uh, when you actually start to deal with it, it's a little more tricky uh, than, uh, than I anticipated. But anyway, uh, dealt with very successfully. The, uh, the barometer is working and calibrated. And in this little video, I just want to give you some of the highlights of uh, what I did. Uh, unfortunately, the focus is not the best, as in some places I, I actually forgot to put the close-up lens on the camera, so sorry about that, but uh, I didn't rehearse it, I've only done it once. Uh, I've never done it before, don't want to do it again, but um, uh, I have made a much longer video that shows uh, the whole process and I'll put a link in the description box below this video uh, to the longer video. Um, okay, I uh, hope you enjoy it. This is uh, what I'm going to be using. Uh, say I've never done this before so I don't know if it'll work but this is a uh, 55 pound breaking strain nylon line. So we're going to watch that uh, uh, air gap there and see if I can do anything. See if I can get the nylon in there in the first place I guess. No, it's not going to go. Uh, that does not want to go around the, the first bend. Oh it has. Right, I'm actually displacing mercury, so where did that go? This is a bit of tube that's out of an aerosol um, that I kept, obviously knowing that one day I could just use that. And look at that, that's about the right size. So, will that help me? Probably not as much as I want, because I need another one. I need another one. Hey, look at that. Uh, you, we're just about to come out of the end of there now. So look, let's see. Now the line on line has gone through the... Oh look, look. See, joining. Hey, it's joined. Hey, that works. So there you go, lads. That's a, that's a, that's a first for me, because I've never done that before. Oh look, look. See, joining. Hey, it's joined. Hey, that works. So this is where the line is now and fortunately it's come right where I want it. So this is just one of those little air inclusions and I'm poking that through. I hope the camera is catching that. I can see you very clearly. And it's just going to break into... Ah, look at that. Did you see it rush at it then? Um, I've got another one now about uh, six inches further down. So that's there. And we'll see if we can do that the same. 